Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you the new feature I developed for the Sketcher. So basically you have a new widget here which is called Tool Settings. And uh, what it does is, uh, so if you don't use it, it actually does nothing. So you see the box tool still works uh, properly. But if you uh, want to type in dimensions, for instance, this is the uh, X position, um, the X coordinate of the first point. So you just type the value, you press enter, and then it goes to the second value uh, where you can put also a value. So you define here the first first uh, uh, point, the coordinate of the first point. So let me press enter again. And you see now the, the first point is, uh, is here. So now you can go ahead and just click it. Uh, where you want if uh, you don't want to set up the length and the width and you see it automatically automatically generate the first uh, the constraint of the first point here so um, uh, that's if you uh, just select um, if you don't put the length and the width so in the same uh, ID, you can select the first point, so you won't get constraint of the first point, and then you can select the length, uh, let's say uh, 80 for instance, and uh, the width 90. And then you see the, the length and the width are fixed, and you can just uh, choose where you want the square to be, so just here. And you have, you see also automatically the constraints which are created, so it's, it's pretty handy. And yeah, so basically, if you put uh, at the same time uh, the yeah, first point coordinates and then the length and the width, then you actually have a fully constrained uh, rectangle that you can drop. And so that's much, much faster than creating a square first, then going select the tool, make the constraints by hand it's just so much more efficient uh, than manually set up the constraints. So if you want to like check how long it takes me to, to do it manually, you can see it's rather long. Um, and if you try to do it as fast as possible using the, uh, using the, uh, the shortcuts you can see it's very very fast so and that's that's the idea behind this tool so basically the idea is that when you select each tool you have different settings appearing that depends on the on the tool so for, for now i only made it for for the box tool and uh, and you can see it's working uh, it's working uh, very well and it's also working for centered um, rectangle so if you go ahead and put some values here There you go, you see, you have the, the square, which is the box, which is created automatically. So let me know what you think uh, in the forum section of uh, FreeCAD. And if you like the feature, please don't hesitate to tell it so uh, that it will get integrated into the, the master of FreeCAD. And I will uh, develop uh, the tool settings for all the different tools. Well, not all, but the point, line, uh, circle, arc, maybe. I don't know if it makes any sense. And then uh, probably uh, polygon and, uh, and slot, maybe even uh, fill it. I think it could be interesting. Yeah, you could just type in the radius. It's also pretty convenient, but uh, currently with the automatic radius, it's, it's of the fillet because currently fillet have an automatic fill uh, radius so you don't select it um, so it will be more difficult to integrate well anyway let me know what you think in the comment and uh, thanks for watching